I know, but it's not like a, like you can call in a temporary lifeguard. Yeah, it's, or, or maybe you can. I'm, I'm not familiar no, with no, that. It's just like uh, I, mean, I did school. I did school temp. Like you know, a sub you know, substitute teacher. I did substitute teacher thing. I was getting paid a uh, hundred dollars a day to be a substitute teacher. And how many years ago was that? That was. 1960 or 1960 something like that. That's, That's pretty good. 50 years ago. And it's more. I don't know what it is now, but uh, you know, I wouldn't do anything more than just sit in the class and babysit it. That's mm -hmm. what I got paid to do. Was to do nothing. And uh, a lot of things, people. A lot of uh, okay. They, it's. I think what it is is that everybody is mad about the fact that you know that. It, it, okay, a lot of them don't really care about the salary. The salary is irrelevant. It's the benefit package that they're really scared. I mean, that you can't. Uh, the people that the people that pay the salaries of the union workers don't get the same benefits. No. And it irritates that's why them. they're part. Of, that's why government employees, all these unions, are fighting so hard. But mm -hmm. still, it's just. Um, and then uh, uh, a lifeguard can retire at 50 with 90% of his, uh, his, say we're making $100,000, which they said they are making with benefits. You can retire at age 50 with a 90% and go get another job. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good thing, but most people don't make it, they don't make it to retirement age. No. I mean, they're not going to get 20 years on a job as a lifeguard unless you go upstairs. If you go upstairs, you're getting more money. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's, it's just the problem comes is that they, it is the oxymoron. You know that they're, they're not hiring enough people because they don't have the money. And because they don't have the money, they're, they're paying more money to the people that they do have, which ends up busting the budget, which means they have to let more people go, can't hire people to cover the difference, which means the people they do have gets more money. And next year it will look even worse than this mm -hmm. because we are broke in California. Every mm -hmm. every state in the country is broke, no matter what they want to say. They, and, you know, they like they um, they added more police officers over to Venice Beach, and that that had to come from somewhere. That had to come from somewhere, and they they did it because there's all these flash mobs that keep yeah. appearing over and there. And the fact that uh, Venice Beach and that area over there is the site of where they do the uh, CSI. Most a lot of CSI stuff is shot over there. NCIS and NCIS LA. and NCSLA, it's all shot over there. And my, CSI Miami is over here. Mm -hmm. And um, and then they also have all these other shows that are doing cameos where they end up in LA for one reason or another. Oh yeah. I think we saw it. Oh, nine one two one zero because it's based yeah, on Beverly yeah. Hills. So yeah. occasionally they go over to the beach area. I saw a recent episode of Castle that was over there. Yeah. Um, and it's just a lot of it's done there because it. it uh, and uh, a lot of stuff that you might think in Hawaii is done over in Venice Beach, mm -hmm. because it is a good one. Anybody that knows, anybody that's been Hawaii, knows that if say this is how this is. Say I'm facing the camera here. To my right hand side is Diamond Head. In California, they have a structure that looks like Diamond Head, and it is on. Yeah, it's on the wrong side of me. Actually, well, they, they could just do the backdrop. Actually, no, here it is. Diamond Head, if I was on the beach, is there. But see, if, 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 but they can't reverse it. It's on the opposite side, folks. So, I mean, it's just, it's totally 180 degrees in the wrong spot. I mean, they filmed part of Hawaii on that beach. Mm. I mean, they, they filmed adventure things on that beach. And Diamond Head is on the wrong side because if you went to the right side, it's Malibu. It's well, yeah, like because part of it is they probably just think that you're filming on the other side in Hawaii. I know, but they think it isn't the other side because nothing exists on the other side of Diamond Head with the but ocean. But you'd have to be there to know that. I know, but we know it, but it's just a substitute. But uh, here's the trick, too, is that, um, that they also we've also seen the lifeguards. Remember the day they were doing that filming, I think, for... Uh, a battleship or something, and they had so many lifeguards out that day, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. They were just standing on top of things, waiting to get into action. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's just, it, it, it's, like I said, it's actually more on. Lifeguards, okay, the life, the firemen deserve exactly what they get because they really do put their lives on the line for everybody. The uh, lifeguards are basically getting, here, lifeguards are getting more than what you think they should be getting because there's been cutbacks and you don't have as many lifeguards working. It's that simple. That's right. The more you cut people out, the more people that are there are going to end up making. So it sounds, to take that money and divide it this direction, you're not, they're not making as much money. Well, yeah, because it's different than a job. Like if people have an office job, somebody gets cut out and it's like, okay, everybody just has to do more, right? Yeah. 
Um, but these, these people are union most And people. they do it, their do more is based on the number of hours. Yeah. So depending on what type of job the person was let go from, you may just have to do the same amount of work in the same amount of time. Yeah. Or it may distribute and you can have overtime, but with lifeguards, it's bodies. It's bodies. I mean, you've got to have bodies out there, and those bodies do not exist anymore. So mm -hmm. you're just paying more people. I mean, like I said, you, you, if you cause the problem of the overtime by letting people go, see, they can just, it, it's ridiculous. If you don't have the money to pay the people, how do you pay the overtime? But they well, pay the overtime. One is they don't have the money. One is the budget and pre-allocated for a number of personnel, and that's what was proved. I know. But Everything they, else is over. But they don't have the money for overtime. I They're know. having to take the overtime money. But they from probably have else. to do the same thing. No, but they. I, I, that's what like I said. In other words, you have the money to pay the overtime. So why didn't you just hire more? So why job? didn't you just take that money from the overtime here and hire more people that less money over there? Well, that would be the easy way of doing it. We're politicians. Yeah, wouldn't that? Be? So what they did was they stopped all over themselves. Mm -hmm. So, but <laughs> that, that's just it. It is. It's a. It's what it is. Is the the, the people that are throwing, throwing the fits in the in the political arena are the ones that cause the problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know, So you grow up at the wrong people, folks. Don't grow up at the fire. Don't grow up at the fire department. Fire department. I mean, I, I absolutely guarantee you that they'd like to have twenty lifeguards out there instead of ten because that's ten more people working. Mm -hmm. They would rather have, uh, you know, they would rather have, you know, uh, like I said, 10 more people making $58,000 a year plus benefits rather than have two guys making $200,000 a year in benefits. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's union strength. Yeah. So this is not something that they enjoy. They don't enjoy working for nothing, which like I said, a lot of them do because a lot of the lifeguards are very conscientious people. We've seen it. The ones that aren't conscientious tend to be the police department, so, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, it's, it's, a, it's a very, a very badly kept secret. Mm -hmm. oh, but with this, if they got these huge cables going from a tower, and there's an air conditioner on the back of a, back of one of these things, and there's no air, con there's no huge wire to that, that lifeguard station on anybody else's, down. and there's no air conditioners on anyone else's, and the guy is 80 years old and has his stomach out to, you know, so that he can't see his shoes. That's not a lifeguard, that's a police officer. So, <laughs> I know, so we've got to talk more about this because this, this is, this is just, it's just boiling over because they're steamed in Newport because they have cut back so much stuff and then find out that they're, it's, it, it's mostly the overtime that they're screaming about. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But you know, that's from the land where uh, a Mercedes is a Ford. Yeah. yeah so. I know, that's right. <laughs> so, so until you'll hear more about this next time. So this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you yeah. can always go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast at 3D. And thank you once again. <laughs>